All right, well, welcome everyone. We're headed out to my new temporary day job, and I thought I'd take the 49 out. Maybe take a little cruise while I'm out and about. She's still a little cool. Kick that idle down one more again. But anyway, you're welcome to ride along, and I uh, may even show you my what I do on my day job. So anyway, Ooh, turn the radio down. Stay tuned. Let's get on down the road. out of the bottles we're heading on down the road how y'all doing today it's uh early may first week and the temps have just now got to 60 and it's a chilly 60 so we'll be wanting these days come uh july Right now, they're still a little on the chilly side. We had some 80 degree weather about uh, a little over a week and a half to two weeks ago for a couple days. Kind of got used to it real quick. But we're back into, uh, oh, I don't know what kind of summer they call it down here. Blackberry summer or winter, blueberry winter, something like that. But anyway. Angles. Yeah, I did uh, the fields yesterday. The, uh, the video you'll see is me actually doing the, the going up to do the field yesterday. And I got a call last night that they're wanting to do a, uh, a makeup game from some rain last week. So I'm running up to do one field uh, again for the game tonight. So uh, what I do is I do. Uh, we do have games generally on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Well, this being a Wednesday, they have a temporary deal. I gotta go through a red light, hold on. Nothing like seeing my finger, huh? <laughs> All right, what was I saying before I interrupted myself? Oh yeah, Tuesdays, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, got a makeup game today on Wednesday, so I'm going up to do the one field, and we've got the uh, benefit tournament going this weekend, so I'll be doing them again Friday, Saturday, and then uh, go up maybe after the game Saturday night, because uh, they got the uh, tournament Sunday, and I'm not, uh, I don't work on Sundays for uh, various reasons, I'm sure you can figure that out. Anyway, so get up here, get this field ready for tonight. Here's my field. That's field one. That's what I'm going to do. You can see the striping still from uh, last night's game. All right. Now I, re -re I recorded this on my uh, my new camera that has a whole lot better picture, but the audio is terrible. I mean, it's just unacceptable. I don't know if I'm going to use it anymore. Uh, it's okay in the shop, but outside it was just it's terrible. 
That's field two. That's my uh, shop slash clubhouse. For the youngins there, for the ones too young to play, and uh, another concession stand overhead. Got two ball, baseball fields and two football fields down that way. That's fields uh, six and seven. And three, four, and five are that way. One of those, field five, is the t-ball field. It's for our real youngins who are just getting their first taste of ball. So anyway, that's the grand tour. <laughs> All right, I got my club installed. Got everything started up and warming up. Do a little shot of the dude sitting here. All right, and I'll show you my setup. Got my water too. It's a Kawasaki. I don't know the model. I'll look it up because I need I need some service. Here's my drag. I got uh, sprites, a rake, and I got my drag there. And there's what I use to line it with. And the string, I try to get straight lines. Every now and then I put that down to get my battery boxes right. But anyway, that's my setup. Another shot of the 49 sitting out there. Let's get to it. I always like to start in numerical order, so I'm going down here to field one. This, uh, I think the fuel filters are getting, needing replaced on this dude because, uh, you know, when I do my drag, I'll go, uh, normally I'll do, you know, left hand circles, like NASCAR, and uh, it'll start wanting to die. If I switch to doing right hand, it'll run better. And here lately, it's been messing up in both uh, directions, so I thought we were going to have to get some fuel filters and do some other service. Supposedly it was serviced this past winter. This is a youth park. We do have two fields for the bigger boys. And, uh, Six and seven. Tell you what. All right, we're gonna run this till you the battery gets down or I get done. It takes me about a half hour to, to do each field. So anyway, we're gonna get busy. This is what it looks like once it's dragged. Now we're going to line it.
product, my uh, my lime layer there is not the best, but it's good enough. Now this first line going across is foul line. Now this is for uh, 10 and under players, okay? And it's coach pitch. So that's what that second line is for, is for the coach to pitch from. And the circle is where the player that will be playing the pitcher position will be. Now keep in mind, this is coach pitch. Now when they do play uh, older kids on this field, it'll be marked this way. But those foul lines and coach pitch lines, uh, they don't they don't play any part in the game. And also, you notice those stripes between first and second, and second and third. Those are to help the youngins get position correct. So anyway, like I say, this is instructional most of the time, ten and under. But uh, older kids will play on this field. All right, so that's him. Let's move to the next one. Alright, we're heading back down the road again. Got a red light coming up. <laughs> it seems like I always get this red light. Anyway. Some, uh, I think I'm feeling some bow jangles. My little daughter used to call them jingle bells back when she was a little tiny little thing. Now she's got, well, she did have some little tiny little things. Now they're growing like weeds. But that's what happens, isn't it? Anyway. Beautiful day. Windy. 60 degrees. Got my window down, but I got my air conditioner not open. I figure uh, I'm comfortable like this. Can't tell these inclines I'm going through, but this 235 just that didn't face it. It just pulls. It'll accelerate even going uphill. Sitting up there in the ball field though, my truck gets mighty dusty. I kick up all that dust when I uh, drag drag the fields. But anyway, may do us some country road cruising. I'll zip back to that. Give another shot of my uh, of the bottles as we go down the road. Hand meters right in the middle. I just filled up, and that uh, is not showing full. I believe I got all I could get in there, so uh, I'm a little concerned about that. Oil pressure is uh, pegged at third or 30, and let's see, my temp is on the 8 of 180, so uh, all the bottles are normal. What am I doing? About 50, keeping up with traffic. Oh, what's that about? Oh, I'd call it 2400 RPM. What? Two, four, yeah, 2400 RPM. All right. That's about average. It'll uh, go down by 100 RPM or so if I get on some flat land. Got a lot of hills and dales right here. Mule. Yeah, they raise uh, raise the show and uh, plow mules. He actually works them. You know, they have plow days. Well, he actually takes a team of mules to work it. Pretty neat. All right. Well, get a whole lot different more to see on this way. I'll be back. All right. Now we're finally back on some back roads and. Uh, 
do a little little cruise here.
three-speed transmission, torque tube, drive shaft, and 411 gears. So this is by no means a highway runner, and I really didn't want it to be a highway runner, so it's configured exactly how I want it. That engine gives me the power where I can actually pull, I can actually accelerate going uphill. It'll run 50 mile an hour all day long, no problem. I've run 60 mile an hour for a pretty good distance and it's been fine. I've even taken it out on the interstate and run it up to 80 and it had more. But it's not designed for that, not with this uh, drivetrain. The engine, yes, but the drivetrain, no. So I'm, uh, but I'm happy with it being a country, a back road, country road, occasional highway cruiser. All right. So that's kind of the truck. And I've got, I would guess, 300 videos on this channel. The majority of which detail everything I've done to this truck to get it going. From, uh, pulling it out of the barn to uh, cruising it regularly and working it. Bumps in the road, still straight axle, still the lever action shocks and the springs, yeah, they're pretty weak now. They, they could use the drivetrain, I mean the uh, suspension could use an upgrade, but yeah, I'm fine with it. But uh, where was I? So anyway, uh, a lot of you all, uh, I've got a lot of other people that watch my videos. And thank you all for watching. I've just uh, got past uh, 4,000 subscribers. And uh, I never thought I'd get 1,000 to tell you the truth. And to be honest, I really didn't start out uh, with that in mind. So, change view and let you see some of this beautiful scenery. too bad uphill third gear 30 mile an hour so it's got some low end torque but really uh, that cam has really moved the uh, the torque curve to higher to a higher rpm that 216 it was like a like a tractor engine you know I could put it in high gear and pull out from a dead stop and it would go this 235 I uh, won't do that it'll stall but then again, that 216 won't run at, uh, you know, easily at 3,000 RPM either. So. Anyway. This is a nice, relaxing cruise. I come this way quite a bit. And I do a lot of videoing on this route. Well, the real youngins. Looks like he's had a pretty good uh, year for uh, caps. You know, uh, coyotes have been moving into our, ter our, our area here. This is East Tennessee. You know, they used to be, I guess at one point in history, they were common, and they got eradicated pretty much. Well, over the last 20 years or so, they were making a comeback, and uh, they're real bad on the, the you know, sheep, uh, and all, all the young, all the young domesticated animals, cats, dogs, uh, everything, and, uh, what a lot of farmers run here are doing is they're getting uh, uh, donkeys. And believe it or not, donkeys are one of the best protectors of your young wildlife of any animal you can get. A donkey does not like a coyote and will, I mean, it will kill it. 
<laughs> it will kill them. And uh, most smart coyotes try to avoid them. But uh, anyway, so you see a lot of donkeys anymore. That's pretty good. I'd go back and check the video to see if I seen any in the background of that. I can guarantee, almost guarantee, you probably had a donkey or two down in there. Especially with all those uh, new calves. Anyway. So anyway, I want to thank y'all for tuning in, and uh, hope y'all hope y'all come back. Uh, like I say, if you go to my homepage on you on the YouTube here, you'll see uh, all kinds of videos that I've done. Uh, it may cover something you may be doing if you have one of these stove bolt trucks, and uh, I also document. Uh, other vehicles that I've worked on but uh, normally I don't do a whole lot of them because they're not uh, they're not very popular turn that radio down a little bit be right back right anyway I forgot what I was saying <laughs> so I hope everything's going good with you and yours Everything's going great here. Can't complain. Won't do me no good to complain anyway. Just carry on. Take care of the business. So have a good one. And I hope to see you around on the next one. See ya. <laughs>